Welcome back to Era Forbidden. Adam, the uh, heroic Forbidden, who managed to save an entire settlement from a demonic onslaught. With his apprentice, who unfortunately didn't make it, he was able to fight off the demons long enough to save all but about 5 or 10% of the population, at which point one of the elders actually collapsed the tunnel and left him for dead. Adam, I'm not entirely sure that you're over that. First, I would I would hurt the elder pretty bad. Maybe not kill them, but... But by the time you got out, the settlement was nowhere to be found. It took you a while to get out. You then collapsed because um, you barely made it out. So um, by the time you actually came round, you weren't able to track them down instantly. Now, Forbidden travel quite frequently from place to place. And you've decided to travel onward in the direction that you were being drawn at the time when you came across the original demon group. You're basically going to climb a ridge, and it's going to look down on a crater in the ground. And in this crater, there is a demonic citadel. Uh, it was actually hidden by the ridge. How exactly they manage to build citadels is slightly beyond you, because they don't seem to cooperate enough. But I guess if there's a scary enough demon lord they can make the demons do what they want. And while you are lying on the on the ridge, sort of getting a look at it, I'd like you to roll me a wits and investigation. That's two. So what you're going to notice is you're going to notice that there are a couple of forbidden not actually that far away from you who seem to have been drawn to this same citadel. And taking down a citadel solo is not a challenge that you particularly relish. You're outnumbered quite badly. I mean, even with more Forbidden, you'd be outnumbered quite badly. And whatever Demon Lord lives inside is not going to be a pushover. So your first instinct would be, as a Forbidden, probably to link up with the other Forbidden in the face of this kind of thing. So, the other two Forbidden, I'm going to hop over to you for a second. Stephen, you're known as the Destroyer. You're a pariah among Forbidden. You are not thought of very well. You're blamed for the destruction of a particular settlement, but whether that was really your fault or not, only you really know. You've recently taken on an apprentice because she asked very nicely. Her name is Bethan. She took her remnant in order to protect her village and then got kicked out of her village, something that also happened to you way back when you first became a Forbidden. So you decided that you were willing to take on an apprentice... And her particular ability relates to taking on a mist form. She has a remnant called the Mist of Demise. Stephen, your remnant is the Chains of the Abyss. They're a very fast attacking combat weapon. So I'd like you two to please roll me a Wits and Investigation. And as I say, you know each other. You've probably been travelling together for, you know, at least a couple of weeks. I'll leave that up to you. Five. Not bad. I also got five. Okay, so um, you pretty quickly see Adam. And I'd like you both to roll me one dice, please. We're doing a notoriety check. Uh, I got a five. Ten. Unsurprisingly, Bethan, given you haven't been a Forbidden very long, you've never heard of, of this particular Forbidden. Stephen? Yeah, you know who this guy is. You know actually very well who this guy is. You probably haven't worked with him before, but you've heard of his deeds. And you're pretty sure that he's no better than you are, and he's just come out on the right side of history. Okay. Even so, too forbidden against the Dark Citadel is not really a situation you want to be in. The idea that maybe you could get some more help, particularly from someone who, okay... Maybe he's not as good as the tales say. He's probably pretty good if he survived everything that he's survived. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. What's what's Stephen's reaction to to noticing this this uh, other forbidden? Like your 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 body reaction, facial reaction? Probably more yes. relief than anything else. I mean, kind of like initially, I see someone, I'm trying to identify who they are, and then it's like. Okay, like this isn't someone I have to worry about. I, this is someone who actually could be a, a a benefit to what we're trying to do. So definitely more relaxed posture. You know this guy, boss? 
Yeah, his um, his deeds are well known. Whether or not he lives up to the tales is 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 one to say. But uh, that's Adam. Adam, back to you. Uh, are you going to move over and and talk to these guys, or wait for them to come to you? I'll I'll, I'll go for them. Just see if I can recognize them as. Oh, you'll recognise them as forbidden, for sure. Mm -hmm. You probably won't know either of them specifically, I think. You can roll a, roll me one dice and see if you can see if you can get a what would it be, seven or better? Two. So you, you don't know who Stephen is, um, and you've certainly never heard of Bethany. When she became a forbidden, you were involved in tracking down the demon horde and dealing with the feed, so yeah, you you probably never heard of her. Okay, so you're going to head over, um, presumably quite stealthily, or as stealthily as you can, right? For the demons, right, but outside the crater. Yeah, so sorry, to the demons, yeah, that's that's what I mean, yeah. Um, go ahead and roll me a dexterity stealth. Your threshold is only five, but um, do go ahead and roll me a dexterity stealth. Uh, three? Yeah, so you're, you're going to sort of creep along, keeping low relative to the crater, and, and you're going to kind of move over to them. I guess you're going to lie down sort of next to them, looking down over the citadel. Yep. Greetings, Forbiddens. My name is Adam. It's uh, good to meet you. I suppose we've... It's no luck that we're all... Well, it's luck you're here at the same time. Uh, but you were both drawn here. I mean, is, there, is there a customary greeting among Forbidden? I mean, is it okay to shake hands? Is it like taboo or some shit? No, I wouldn't think so. Okay, then yeah. Uh, n knowing, knowing who he is, uh, I'd definitely um, extend my hand. Well, it's a good way of finding out if he knows who you are, isn't it? Yeah, I'll I'll extend my hand and just um, read him and say that you know I I'm Stephen. Um, I don't really want to introduce myself as a destroyer because it's not really a good thing. I I'll, I'll pass on that. I'd rather not. And then this is a uh, this is my my apprentice uh, uh, Bethan. Like, we're just drawn to the Citadel, right? I mean, we're just... Forbidden are always drawn towards large concentrations of demons or angels. Okay, alright. So it's not some weird anomaly that we're here together. I mean, it's a coincidence that we are at the same time, as you said, right? But Okay. That you arrive at the same time is maybe, you know, unusual, you know, and lucky. Okay. But, um, yeah, I mean, depending on how long you've been observing it, you know, if you've been here a day or two, probably not that unlikely. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just introduce myself as Steven. This is uh, my, my, my apprentice, Bethan. Um, and uh, we're, we're, we're observing the Citadel uh, in hopes of uh, making an attack on it. Nice to meet you. The way in which you would actually destroy the Citadel is by killing the demon inside, the, the lead demon. Okay. That's usually a very, very dangerous kind of demon because none of the sort of standard demons would really be able to maintain order. As indeed we saw last session of Forbidden with Adam, a demon horde tends to just kind of go wherever it goes. Lots of infighting, lots of other stuff. I mean, it could be a huge sort of giant demon, or or maybe one that has sort of extreme levels of power. But, you know, for, for a demon to sort of marshal demons to not only still be present, but also build the thing is quite an impressive demon in itself. So if you can eliminate him, then the whole thing will become abandoned in worst case. Makes sense, yeah. So so basically then we're 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 hunting we're hunting the uh the, the host. And um definitely trying to gather resources to to aid us in this fight. So your your help would be uh, greatly appreciated. That's another difficult task for me, I guess. Uh, but you know what? That seems like uh, after what happened uh Last week, that was uh, that's gonna be a uh, walk in the park. Sounds like a hero's job. It is indeed. Um, so, how long have you been here? Have you seen anything? How long have we been here? Just we just arrived. You can choose. I figure maybe scouting it for a day or so. Just arrived and kind of just getting the lay of the land. Both Bethan and Stephen, you can roll me an intelligence and investigation to find out what you discovered while you were scouting the area. Your threshold, because you've been here a day, is actually going to be sixes. Five. Uh, same, five. That's really good for Stephen, pretty disappointing for Bethan. <laughs> yeah. 
Because your intelligence investigation is like eight dice. Yeah. And one fumble. Oh, well. Okay, so during these five days, um, you've observed a variety of demons moving in and out. There, there seems to be a lot of harpies circling the top of the citadel, ready to dive bomb anything that walks into the crater that they see. You've actually seen a few angel scouts get attacked, so you know for sure that there's at least one skeleton giant in there, because uh, a few sort of angel warriors sort of went in and tried to assess the strength. And they, um, sort of a skeleton warrior emerged from the, a skeleton giant, I'm sorry, emerged from the ground and, uh, and actually dealt with them. Skeleton giants are huge and terrifying. 50 meters tall, maybe. They're, they're massive. Size 14. I like how their weapon is unarmed massive. Uh, yeah, because they'll literally just stomp on you. Pretty awesome. All right, so uh, I mean, there's four formidable defenses around. Um, definitely uh, not an easy task for uh, for us, but um, this is a uh, center hub for uh, for demonic activity, and it's something that we do need to remove from from the area. So I'll convey what uh, what 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 we were able to pick up to Adam. Yeah, you have never caught sight of the uh, of the lead demon. He's not left in the day you've been here. Oh yeah. So you have no idea what he looks like or what his abilities might be. Yeah, that makes sense. Just uh just a bunch of big nasty funkies and such. But yeah, I mean the the what you've seen implies that he is powerful and scary. Yeah, I mean if he's got stuff like that under his control, that's uh he's no pushover. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Bit of an odd question, I guess, to know when we should attack. Um do demons even sleep or do they I suppose not. But... Demons probably sleep whenever they feel like it. I right, see. There's no the advantage for us would be to just attack a day when you have light, because otherwise it's not. That's right. It won't make any difference to you whether they're awake or asleep, because some of them will be awake and some of them will be asleep at any time. I suppose we'll just have to find a entry point that's not so big that demons could swarm us, but big enough for us to go through. Or anything like that. Anything that's like a bit out of the way, not not straight up in in the. Um, Let's not use the open. big giant door, basically. Yeah, I concur. Bethan, could you roll me an intelligence and stealth? Um, Bethany is the name of a main character in Era Lost Legend, which is why I keep doing that. What's the threshold? Seven. Two. Three. Four. And there's a ten. Uh, five successes, one fumble. With five successes, uh, you are actually able to spot a sort of a, a, a place where maybe the walls have crumbled away a bit mm -hmm. and not yet been fixed. You could, you could all probably squeeze through there. I mean, you could turn into mist form and get through practically any gap, mm -hmm. but you could all squeeze through there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that sounds like a good, good point of entry then. Okay, and I suppose I'll... I can see her, um, Bethan's, um, mist thing? Or... Uh, yes, um, it's a, it's not invisible, um, it's sort of, she turns into a whitish mist that can then move around. Mm -hmm. I will, I will use mist form to just go through. Uh, sorry, you're gonna have to go down into the crater and actually cross the crater still. That doesn't go away as a problem. Oh, right, okay, yep, yep. If that's uh, what we want to do, I think that's uh... it's the best plan of action, I think. Yeah. So you're all just going to head down into the crater, try and cross the crater as stealthily as possible. Yes. And try to reach the um, the crack in the citadel without being spotted. Yeah, I think that yep. about sums it up. Become forbidden.